Today we are going to create a trampoline fun game. First, let's replace the cat with Gobo. Add the trampoline. First thing, we are going to make the Gobo move. So I will use a forever loop. I'll make the Gobo move 10 steps. But you see, once the Gobo hits the edge, it stays there, it doesn't come back. So we need to add this if on edge bounce. Now it bounces back, but it goes upside down. So go to the direction, click the button in the middle. This makes sure that the gobo only turns left and right. But now the gobo only go one line. So let's change its starting direction. Point in direction. If I click the direction here, you can see here is almost minus 180. If we go one run, it will become 180. So our point direction, let's get a random number from minus 180 to 180. And I want the global to always start from 0, 0. Let's add when green flag clicked. So it'll go random directions. And once it hit the edge, it will bounce back. Okay, now let's look at the trampoline. How do we move the trampoline? We can let the trampoline follow our mouse. So when green flag clicked, I will have a forever loop to set my X to be, go to sensing, mouse X. You can see, when I move my mouse, the trampoline just follows. Our next step is to make sure that the gobo bounces back when it hits the trampoline. So let's go to gobo. When green flag clicked, I will have another forever loop to check if I touch the trampoline. So go to sensing. Touching trampoline. When I hit the trampoline, I need to turn back. So turn 180 degrees. But to make it more fun, let's turn to a degree near 180. So go to motion, turn, pick a random number from 170 to 190. And once I turn, I want to quickly leave the trampoline. So move another 10 steps. Okay, now it can bounce back when it hits the trampoline. Let's add a score to keep track of our progress. So go to variables, make a variable score. And when green flag clicked, we need to set score to zero. Every time the gobo touch the trampoline, we are going to change score by one. Let's try. You can see the score is increasing, but it's too easy. Let's make it more difficult. As the game goes, we want to shrink the trampoline. So let's go back to trampoline. When green flag clicked, for every five scores, I want to shrink the trampoline. So go to control, repeat until operations, repeat until score equal to five. I'm going to change my size by minus 20. And I want to keep doing this. So I will duplicate this block. This time when the score is 10, I will decrease the size by another 20. So duplicate this. Next change will be when the score is 15 and when the score is 20. After these four times, the trampoline will become size 20. So let's see. Size 20 is pretty small. So we'll let the gobo jump another five times and we will call it the end of the game. When it's end of the game, I want to display a message. So let's create a sprite. Use text, and I'm going to type in congratulations, you won. Drag this to the center. Change the name of the sprite to congrats. So let's go to the code for this congrats. When green flag clicked, I want to hide myself. Until it reached score 25, I will show. So repeat until score equal to 25. I will show myself and I will stop everything. So show and stop all. Similarly, what if the game fails? The game fails meaning the gobo landed on the floor. So let's create another sprite. This time we will call it Try again. Similarly, drag it to the center and change the name to try again. Now for this try again, when green flag clicked, we also want to hide it. 
And when are we going to show? When the gobo landed on the floor. So let's go back to gobo. How do we tell the gobo landed on the floor when it's at this location? Minus 120. So let's drag another when green flag clicked. Another forever loop because we need to keep on checking. If Y position is less than minus 120. So we'll broadcast a message. And for the try again sprite, once I receive the message, I will show. When I receive try again, I will show and I also need to stop the game. Okay, now let's try. Oh, notice the trampoline is very small. That's because we forgot to change back its size. When green flag clicked, we need to set its size to 100%. Now let's try again. Have more fun with Scratch.